Hi, this is Kevin with Garrison Dental, and today we're out here in beautiful Beverly Hills, California with Dr. Matthew Najad. And Dr. Najad has been out on the lecture circuit talking about biomimetic dentistry, and I asked him if he would tell us a little bit, kind of give us his three-minute elevator speech, you know, about uh, what is biomimetic dentistry and how can it impact uh, the practice of your typical general practitioner. So Dr. Najad, tell us about it. Sure, Kevin, thank you. So biomedic dentistry is something I'm very passionate about and it's something that I also was exposed to as a student in dental school. So I came across it at the right time in school and it's the only dentistry I know, but I'm also very passionate about it because I recognize the differences between traditional dentistry and biomedics. So first thing I wanna mention is that biomedic dentistry isn't a specific technique, it's a philosophy. And the philosophy is that there's nothing better than the natural tooth for us to mimic or emulate. So we wanna copy the natural tooth. That means materials that are like the natural tooth, a bond and adhesion that's like the natural tooth. Think of the natural tooth. It has the enamel layer, the dentin layer, and the two are not one in the same. And the two are actually joined together with a bond of sorts. You know, the DEJ acts as a fibril enhanced bond that brings the two together. Together we get such an amazing success. So the natural tooth is a stiff enamel shell, a complete Client dent in core and a strong bond between the two. And biomedic dentistry is the concept that recreating that bond using materials that are like dentin and enamel is the key to success, mimicking the tooth. We don't want to have extremely stiff and brittle materials. We want to replicate enamel and dentin and adhesion. And we have the science techniques and even the materials to do that right now. So it's a very exciting time because we're able to do this. And some of the benefits for patients include less likely that you need root canal. There's very conservative caries removal process. There's a very great way to know when to call it quits when you're removing the caries to avoid a pulp exposure and allow the vitality of the pulp to be maintained. Um, adhesion, when it's done real well, minimizes on cutting down the tooth. So again, we have lower chance and incidence of sensitivity, pain, root canal, and these restorations like inlays and onlays and fillings that are done with the right technique technique lasts for a very long time and prevent one of the things that we call the tooth cycle of death, which is you do the traditional dental approach of amalgam filling goes to crown, goes to root canal, and you end up with an implant before you know it. So biomedic dentistry is all about what we can do to prevent all those things with a more natural and um, biomimetic approach. So for a general practitioner, you know, I noticed as I was coming up to your office today, you've got that right on your sign outside, biomimetic dentistry. So for a, a, a typical GP, he's practicing in, in Des Moines, Iowa, you, you know, what, what kind of a difference can this make for that type of practice? Well, number one thing I've noticed is patients are asking for these procedures now. So there was a time when I was trying to educate them on it, but more and more patients are coming because they don't like the concept that you're going to take away more of their tooth in order to restore it. But also on my end, overall biomedic procedures are easier and better for me. I don't like having crowns that are subgingival, fighting the gingiva, the results speak for themselves. The teeth the teeth are much happier when they have restorations that are super gingival. So it's not only easier for you most of the time, but it's also better for the patient, cuts down on failure, sensitivity, pain. A lot of these are practice breakers. Practice breakers. Patients don't like having sensitivity after they paid for something. And if you understand the steps that go into getting a strong bond, you see that a lot of the issue is our failure to mimic a natural tooth. So, so now you're, you're teaching some classes on this, correct? Do, do you have a website um, that people can go to to learn a little bit more? Yeah, so I love teaching on these subjects. My course is, my classes are on biomimeticdentistryce.com and I do about uh, 10 days a year of courses and workshops and then the rest of the year I do workshops across the US and the world in uh, different clubs and study clubs and so on. So you can visit that website. I have a lot of information on there and I really just love teaching these things because it's something that I've gotten amazing feedback. I've only heard from clinicians that they have implemented, they like, their patients are happy, the success speaks for itself. So it's a real pleasure for me to teach these things. Great. Well, Dr. Najad, thanks so much for joining us here today. Thank you so much.